Hello everybody and welcome to a Fortnite creative tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fall through things that don't look like you should be able to fall through or face through them. All right. This is going to be especially useful for creating secret passageways and, of course, trolling your friends. Because who doesn't want to do that? So I have a few examples set up here just for you guys. So here's example number one, falling right through the carpet. Example number two, crouching and going right through the mirror. And example number three, crouching and going right through the fireplace. And of course, into a trap. Now, I actually already have a video up on this, but because there have been some changes implemented with Fortnite Chapter 2, I felt like it was important to make an updated version of this, of that video, because the way I explained it in that video, it doesn't actually apply to the way you have to do it now. So, the way before that you had to do it was that you had to come to the... So the way you previously had to do it was that you had to open your creative menu and go to prefabs and then you want to open your castle filter all right and you wanted to choose the first one just the straight up castle all right just this right here and you'd take it and you'd throw it down and it would be this right here and what you do is that you'd have to go in and you could go all the way to the Ice King's throne and take the wall directly behind it. Because at the time, this was the only wall that you could actually modify. As you can see, I can rotate it, I can make it bigger or taller or smaller, or I can make it whatever I want. As compared to this wall, this wall, it just kind of snaps in place. So it was unique. And that wall was used to create the gaps. That I have here so as you can see there's a gap in the floor this is basically just a lot of different floor pieces so what you do is that you take that wall and you'd make it bigger you'd make it smaller to put a gap but that is not the case anymore because now you can do that with every single wall and floor piece in the game all you have to do is take this wall and you're like okay now it snaps in place this isn't gonna work but then you have to open, you have to pull out your phone, and then if you look at my bottom left, at the bottom left corner, where all my options are, it says options, alright? You press whatever button that is for you, and opens this little quick menu, and you have to come here, building to prop, and turn it on, alright? Now if I take this exact same wall, you can see that I can now rotate it, I can make it taller, I can just make it smaller and I could do all those things that I could do with sorry with this wall all the way back here all right and you can also do that with floor pieces so if I turn building to prop off you can see this just snaps in place but now if I turn building to prop on oh and all of a sudden I have all these different options make it really big make it really small make it shorter, make it taller, all those options become available to me. And that's what we're gonna use. So you can use whatever wall you want, but now I'll just start getting more in depth in with this tutorial. So what you have to do is that you have to open your creative menu and you have to go to galleries this time. And you have to choose the game gallery, which is sort of, it's close to the top. It's just a few from the top you go to the game gallery and from here you want to find the no collision gallery all right right here no collision this is very important when you throw it down it'll give you this and what no collision means it means that you can walk through all of these pieces here so you can use all of these you know you can like walk through a painting jump through a painting you know fall through a carpet like I showed you go through the fireplace I'll go through the mirror in my example the mirror was a lot bigger okay and then this is what you're gonna have to use so now I'll just give you a quick example of how you could use it so now I'm gonna add like a secret room right down here okay and now you gotta figure out how to get down there so you're gonna take the hay bale and I'm gonna put it like right here okay that seems like a good spot yeah that's that's good now we have to make a hole there I'm gonna turn my building to prop on 
And I'm gonna take this and resize it, but only its width. So I'm gonna make it really skinny and then put it here. Maybe even one more back. There, just like that. And then I'm gonna put another one just like that on the other side okay so now it's looking pretty decent you know you could kind of tell that there's something up here because it's like i don't know it looks kind of weird so maybe you'll do a better job than i do but we still got these gaps here honestly just for the video's sake i'm gonna do a horrible job at this so you can just tell that like what's this weird gap here and then you come and whoa i just totally fell right through that and now you can see that you can fall right through i can i can jump up too you know all that good stuff so that's how you make secret passageways and invisible holes and whatnot i hope this video helped i'll be coming out with a lot of other fortnite creative tutorials that'll definitely be an asset to you so i definitely recommend that you should watch them they'll be very informative on how to troll your friends and whatnot in death runs and just secret things little glitches and whatnot that you can use so stay tuned for that subscribe if this video helped you and i really hope to see you in the next video see ya